Thank you all for coming. Uh, before I forget, I did a presentation on Wednesday detailing Andrea headsets. If anyone would, would like a copy of that, then please feel free to drop me an email. Uh, my email address will be coming up at the end of the presentation. And I'd be quite happy to, then to let you have the link for the headset presentation that I did on Wednesday. So we'll push on. This one is all to do with Andrea headphones and, and the range we have available today. A lot of them mainly for the education uh, sector, so uh, could be useful looking at who's here. Uh, I think I know a few of you. So they could be very useful for generally the education sector and the DSA market sector as well. So kick off with um, our education range. We call it the EDU range. Now these units were specifically designed with education users in mind. Um, so inherently, I'll just move over to another view and you'll see this. You can see that the, the, the first thing we did was, was try to make them um, virtually indestructible so you can do all sorts of horrible things with these headsets. And the um, nice thing is they just sort of bounce back. So they are very well built. We'll go into it in a, in a little bit later, but you also see they have nice leatherette ear cushions so they can easily be cleaned and wiped. Sorry, I'm going to get tangled up here. We'll go, in, we'll go into these in a bit more detail in a minute. So I'll quickly go over the, over the features of these two units. Uh, we have two models available. One is the EDU-175. That's an on-ear unit, so it actually fits on the ear, doesn't completely eliminate background noise. So you can actually still hear you know, people speaking in the classroom, for example. And the other unit is the EDU-375, which is an over-ear um, version of the, this is basically the same unit except it's got bigger head pieces so the head unit fits over here and it will also accommodate lots of hearing aids as well I know a lot of uh, students and DSA students will have um, hearing aids so it will go over those not all of them of course there's loads and loads of different types but most of them uh, there's enough room inside the actual ear cup to accommodate the hearing aid. Certainly some of the, most of the modern ones anyway. So they both have 40 mil speaker units, very good clear sound, both for audio and music. They have, as I said earlier, leatherette ear cushions, so very, very easy to clean. And a single point jack termination. So it fits most head sockets. They're very comfortable and they can be worn for a considerable amount of time uh, without any problems at all. There is also both these units, I'll try not to get tangled up this time. Both these units have um, an inline volume control. I don't know if you can see it just there. So it's a nice little wheel on one edge. So you can go from zero to full very, very easily just by moving the wheel. And that's available on, on both the units. The other important thing is that you can get spare ear cushions for both those units. So if you ever want to change the cushions, that's no problem. They're freely available. And I'll tell you later where the products can be purchased from. That's probably all I want to say about those units. Again, very, very nice units, specifically designed for education use. They'll take you know, a lot of wear and tear and a boost by not just children, but anyone. The cost-wise, the end user price for the EDU175 will be in the region of £8 or so and the 375, more or less like £10 or £12 or something in that range, I would think. 
Okay, we'll move on to the next unit. This is the HS75, which I suppose is a, one of our more professional headsets. It's not mega expensive. It's, it's probably around about 18, 20 pounds in the UK. But it uses the same earpiece units uh, as our NC181 headsets, which have been around for some time, very well proven. It's a very, very lightweight. It doesn't weigh too much at all. The, the cushions are foam cushions. So they're not quite as hygienic as the leatherette ones, but they're certainly very comfortable. And the headband is, is metal, so you can't twist the thing in all directions like you can the earlier units. The, 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 the units are pre-equalized to CD quality sound, so the, the sound is extremely good on this headset. It really is. It's excellent. And again, spare cushions are available if needed. So that's the HF75. If you have questions, by the way, I'll try and answer them towards the end. That will save me having to look at questions as we go through. But feel free to post your questions. You, towards your top right hand side, you should have two options, public and private. So you can send messages to just to me or you can send messages to the whole group. And I'm still finding my way around this webinar um, program. It's called Webinar Geek and so far it seems quite good, but this is only the second time I've used it. So please excuse me if I push one or two incorrect buttons here and there. So that's the HS75. We now move on a bit further. So it's a bit more innovative, innovative this one. It's a BT-875. Uh, it's a wireless headphone. It has got a built-in mic, but it's only for use, really, for answering telephone calls that may come in. So you can pair it with any Bluetooth unit, um, be it phone, slate, iPad, etc., etc. Uh, once it's paired, it's very easy to pair, by the way, it more or less, it just about pairs itself. It has very large speaker units, again uses our 40 millimeter stereo speakers, so uh, the quality is, is exceptionally good. And the cushions are sort of soft padded leatherette cushions. Uh, quickly to answer your question. Ray, no, it's not suitable for Dragon. This one is not suitable for Dragon. To be quite honest, we've never tried it, but it's a very, very basic microphone of the sort that you might get um, in a mobile phone, for example. Uh, it would work with Dragon, but how, how accurate it would be, uh, I would like to say. So the, the really nice thing about the BT-875 is the fact that it has an SD card slot built into it. Now, what that enables you to do is to preload really any audio onto that card. Could be music, could be audio books, could be audio commentaries, could be, well, any sorts of audio. And the other nice thing about it is it can be set into a mode whereby as soon as you switch it on, it goes straight into SD card play mode. So it's very good for, for people who uh, might want to go to the gym, for example, um, and not use their phone. Because literally all you have to do is turn it on and you get music. The buttons on there will change music tracks. So you can go up and down on the music. You can forward, fast forward or reverse. It, uh, it works very well indeed. But it also acts as, as a standard Bluetooth wireless headset to whichever device it's paired into. Yes, as I said earlier, Ray, the, the, the built-in mic is, is really put there to answer incoming phone calls. So if it's paired to your mobile phone and you get an incoming call, you might be out jogging or something, then you can just push one button and take the phone call with via the, the headphone, the BT-875. It comes with USB charging facilities. There's a built-in battery um, and it just needs 
really to be paired and then you start using it. But the battery lasts probably around about eight hours, something like that. So it say so it's not the sort of thing that's mainstream education, but it's just one of those units that's there. Um, certainly in the States, it's used by quite a few universities and they actually give these units away to the students when they join the university, um, preloaded with an SD card with uh, lots and lots of information on about the university. So they use it as sort of a, a selling aid, if you like, for the university itself to to um, attract people to the university. It's about all I want to say on the BT875. Again, it's a unit that you might not have heard of, but it's one there that can be used if you have an application that, that needs it. Okay, now this is the, the unit I would like to spend most of the time on, and it's really the last headphone in our range, but it's a brand new one, and it was sort of introduced um, to try and satisfy the demand in, in the DSA market for sure for a very good quality wireless active noise reduction headphone and hence the introduction of this unit. It actually retails at a very attractive price uh, somewhere in the region of um, certainly sub £60, around about £54, £55 in the UK. So it's, it's an extremely good, high quality unit. Um, has a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So it's almost, well, I would say it's, it's a hi-fi unit. Uh, and I actually, before this came along, I had um, a very high quality unit made by a company beginning with B. And it's equally as good as that, in my opinion. So it can be used, um, it's, it's over the ear, by the way, it's an over ear cushion unit. So that the cushions on this unit are very, very soft. So it more or less sort of sinks onto the ear when you put them on and it gives a very, very good seal. Again, they're vinyl, so they can be easily cleaned. It has excellent external noise reduction, which is really what it's used for. But the, the nice thing is it really has two on-off switches, this unit. It has one on-off switch for the headphone and one on-off switch for the noise reduction system. So it is possible just to use it uh, for noise reduction. So if you're somewhere and you want to sleep and you want to uh, get rid of all the background noise, you can just have, just use it for that purpose only. Um, it has a built-in mic, as I said earlier, to, to answer incoming calls. So again, if it's paired with a, with a phone, then uh, you can use the, the built-in mic. But it is, again, just a standard pinhole mic. It's not really meant to be used with Dragon. Although, again, we haven't tested it. If it works, it's a bonus, but we are selling this unit and supplying it as a headphone, not a headset. Uh, one other thing, I'll just try and show you this, oh, please stand by. So on the rear, on the, oh, that's a fly <laughs> past the screen. Uh, on the head unit, I'll try and get it in the right light. The switches are all along one side on the right ear cup. You have sort of buttons and, and sockets. I hope you can see that. It's a bit difficult, I know. So, just buttons along there. And with all those buttons, you can control everything. Same, bit similar to the 875. So if you are playing music with it, then you can control the music player with the buttons. So you can move the track up and down uh, and do nice things like that. There's also a jack socket on this unit. And this jack socket can be used to connect it to um, really to, to any device that, that needs a lead and you can't pair it wirelessly. And, and a good example of that is, is in an aircraft. So if you want to use it with an aircraft entertainment system, 
you can just use the the little lead supply just a little three and a half mil to three and a half mil lead that means you can then plug it into the aircraft's entertainment system but still use all the noise cancelling so you can completely eliminate just about completely eliminate all the background drone for example that you would get in an airplane it's also usb charged um, comes with a with a little charging cable so any usb power source will act as the charger and the other end just plugs into the headset to charge it lasts about again about eight hours so on a full charge, uh, the unit should be able to be used for around about an eight hour period without any problems at all. It depends on, on how much activity is going on as to how long the battery will last, but in the region of eight hours. Also comes again with a very nice carrying pouch. So this comes with it, nice soft carrying pouch to, to house everything. So that completes our range. This unit is ideal for the DSA market where you have a student who has to have extremely quiet um, background noise elimination. So they need to work in a very quiet environment. Could be used in a class with other students or even when they're on their own, they have um, background noise problems. So the price point is right, it is DSA approved, so you shouldn't have any problems getting this unit through um, SFE, for example, they should accept this. Still has to be justified, of course, but the justification is, is pretty obvious for a unit like this. We can certainly help with justification text if you, if you ever need any, but I think it speaks for itself. Okay, I think that's all I want to say on the A&R 950. Not a lot else. Um, if you're a DSA assessor and you want to quote it, the unit is available on the Class Westminster Quote System run by Paul Dilley at Westminster. Uh, the AT Quote System, which is Tom Woodward's system, and all DSA equipment suppliers can quote uh, all of our headsets I've talked about in this presentation. And as I say there again, all the listed headphones are on the DSA approved equipment list. But it's very important um, when you're asking equipment suppliers, for example, for headset headphones in this case, then, then please mention the model numbers and don't just say headphones. It, it just goes a long way to making sure that you're getting a good quality headphone. And Andrea now have been in the market for okay, count the years up, certainly since 1935 when they were instrumental in manufacturing some of the first TVs in the States actually. But we've been manufacturing headphones, headsets, microphones since about 1945-ish. Also, Andrea supply um, a lot of military product, so even now, so we, we supply product for military purposes. So the quality of our product has to be very, very good. And it is, it's not bottom end price product, and it's not top end price, but it sits in the middle. And if you want a good solution for most um, situations, then we think our products fit the bill. So I'm just going to, that's, that's all I want to say now. I'm going to just have a quick look through the questions that may have come up and try and answer a few of those if I need to. If you've got any other questions, please put them down. The other thing I want to say before I finalise is if you want a copy of this presentation, then please just drop me an email. Um, my email is shown on this screen. And I'd be happy to send you a copy of this webinar, but also if you want one, a copy of Wednesday's webinar, which was dealing with headsets for the education in DSA marketplace. I can also send you certificates if you want a certificate for attending today, that's no problem. Just make that request 
and I will um, send you a training certificate that you can use for your um, training points. Thank you all very much for attending. I do have two more webinars coming up next week at the same time. On Wednesday, I will be dealing with microphones and next Friday, I will be dealing with audio adapters, which is a bit of a black art, but I can certainly pass on quite a lot of information about the audio adapters that we do and um, might be useful for you on some occasions. Okay, thank you all very much for attending. I really do appreciate that.